on the last part, you learned how to add the actors view, which was the first view in this app. Now, you are going to learn how to add the producers view, which we are going to use to display a list of producers. Before we go to Visual Studio and write some code, let us go to our app and see how the producers view is going to look like. And the producer's view, the same as the actor's view, has four columns. It has the profile picture, the full name, the biography, and the actions column. So now let us go to Visual Studio and first create the view, and then follow all the other steps one by one. So in Visual Studio, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to go to the producer's controller. And inside the producer's controller, we have the index action result. And for this controller, we have created an async action result. Now here we have all producers. So let us pass all producers as a parameter in here. Now let us go to the solution explorer. And since we have the producer's controller, we are going to create a new folder inside the views folder. So add a folder. And this folder is going to be named producers because that is the controller's name. So producers. And then inside the producers folder, we are going to add a razor view. And the razor view will be named index. So razor view empty, then add. We are going to leave in here the default name index and then click the add button one more time. So we created the index view because in the producer controller, we have the index action result, but if you want, so if you want, you can create another view with another name, let's say index new. But then in here, when you return the view, you just need to define in here the view name that you want to render. So in that case, this would be index new. And then in the index new, we want to render all producers. And if you do not define a name, then by default, the view name needs to be the same as the action result name. Now let us go to the index.c-sharp HTML. And in here we have said that the first part is going to be the model. Then we have in here the C-sharp code and here you can define the view data. You can define like C-sharp properties. And the last part is the C-sharp HTML or let's say the HTML code because we just have some C-sharp code inside the HTML code. Now, since the producer's view is similar to the actor's view, I'll just go to the solution explorer and then go in here inside the actors folder and open this file, control A, control C to copy the code, then go inside the other index.c-sharp HTML and I'm going to paste all the code in here. Now, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to change or we need to update the model. So instead of having the I numerable of actors, now we are going to have an I numerable of producer. And the title is going to be list of producers. And you can see that down here we do not get any typo. And the reason for that is because the actors and the producers have similar properties. So if you just right click in here and go to definition. You can see that we are in the producer model. And in the producer model, we have the profile picture URL, we have a full name and a biography. Now, if you want in here, you can define custom display names. So display and then in here name. This is going to be in here the first one, the profile picture URL or just profile picture. The second one is going to be the full name. And the last one is going to be the biography. So I'll just copy this line, paste it in here, and then change the name to be biography. Now let us save the changes and actually save all changes. And then let us run the app. So the app ran successfully. Now to load all the producers in here, you need to first go to the producers controller and then in the producers controller you need to call the index view and since the index is the default view you can just remove the index and then press enter 
So now in here, you can see that we have all the producers that we have in our database. So here we have the profile picture, we have the full name, biography, and the actions. Now in here, if you want to center the table header text, you can just go back to Visual Studio. And then in here, go to the index.csharp HTML. And then in the table row, I'm just going to add a class. This is going to be text-center. And the text-center is just a bootstrap class that is used to center text within, let's say, a div, a span. In this case, that is a table header. So I'll just copy this class and also center data in the actor list view, so the index.csharp HTML. So in here, then save all the changes. Let us also go to the profile picture URL for the actors. And then in here, just change the display name from profile picture URL to just profile picture. So you can remove the URL part because we are actually displaying the profile picture. Then save the changes and restart the app. And you let us go to the producers. So producers. We see that the table headers are centered. Let us also go to the actors. And we can see that the table header is also centered in here and the profile picture URL is now profile picture.